Would you mind if I kept calling you Mason? Hmm? I mean, after we find your real name. Would you mind if I kept calling you Mason? You've called me that for, what, three months now? I know, but it's not your real name. I know. Why do you ask? Well, shouldn't I call you by your real name after we find out what it is? Call me Mason. It means more to me. Did you get the hole filled back in? Yeah, it's done. No use in looking around. None of this should seem familiar, right? It's not the house. I'm just curious, I guess. About other people's houses? Well, yeah, I mean, until now I don't see yours, so I like this. Seeing how people would decorate what they got laying around. Tell us a lot about a person. Maybe seen a lot of houses. Next door tomorrow? If you want to. Of course. You weren't burnt out from all that digging? I dug too much, didn't I? I mean, I was young. I probably used a spade to bury it or something. So that hole was overkill then? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are we gonna do when we find the boat? Like, do we have a plan? A uh, plan for... I don't know, like, who opens it first, or... You do. No, you do. No, I don't. Liam, I want you to open it first. Why? You want to know your name, don't you? That's the whole reason we just dug up this old man's backyard. I want to know my name, I just want you to know first, and when I'm ready, I'll let you know. We didn't start this little adventure for my sake, you know. It's useless if I'm the only one who knows. Relax, Mace. I'm just worried that it'll lead to an... Anti-climax. Come on, Mason. What if I have a shitty name? Then I know your shitty name and you wouldn't. This whole search was your idea. I wasn't going to go after the book if you didn't want to. I'm following your lead. Why Mason? Why'd you choose the name Mason for me? This again? You can never give me a straight answer. I don't know what you want me to say. It was the first name that came to mind. This is the worst one yet. You could have been named anything. Schneider, Petey... I don't know, Mason's a cute name, it's stuck. It is, it's a cute name. Mason's a cute name. Does it mean anything to you? Besides being cute? No, not really. Don't get pissy, Mace. So next door tomorrow? We don't even know if this is the right street, dude. It's close to the diner. That's hardly... That's where you found me. So I must have died there. I had to live nearby. I know, but we're just guessing. I'm shocked the first house we tried was fine with some kid fucking up their backyard. You're an awful liar, but they fell for it. Not every house is gonna fall for it. I'll bet you anything. Second house, they'll laugh. Well, tell them the truth. If I can't pull off school project, there's no way in hell I can pull off a ghost boyfriend. Yeah, but the truth seems more genuine. <laughs> Bullshit. Motherfucker. Not there? Nothing. I'm so with you fools, man. Fuck this. Fuck this. You're just gonna run the house. Watch it, Liam. Hey! Hey, it's 8 o'clock. They'll be here in half an hour. I'll fuck with the hole tomorrow morning when it's not raining. I'm done with it. Bitch. Do you think they mind if I use their dryer? It's still in a second try. We can't stop now. I'm giving up for tonight. That's all. Next door. Mace, you... We gotta come up with a different approach to this. I'm not digging up every backyard in the damn city. Let's involve someone else. A few other people. <laughs> yeah, sure. Seriously, how many people in their right minds would believe any of this? You'd be surprised. No one. 
And what do we have anyway? We don't have anything. We have no clues, no information, nothing. We have nothing to work from. I'm lucky I remembered the book thing at all. That's something at least. <laughs> right. You wrote your name in a book buried in someone's backyard, somewhere in the city. Top right corner of the yard. That doesn't narrow it down. I'm not pissed at you. I'm pissed at the book. It's not the book's fault that we can't find it. Then who's? Ours? We're looking in the wrong place? No one's at fault. Who the fuck buries the book? Me, I guess. Yeah, what the hell, dude? I don't know. I read it. I must have found it somewhere and it fascinated me. So I wrote my name at the top right corner and when we moved, I buried it. It's kind of like a time capsule thing, I guess. And that's the only memory you still have? Yeah. Out of all the things to remember about your life, you remember that. It's pretty convenient, huh? <laughs> you don't have to waste your summer, Liam. I'm not wasting it. Not yet. I'm spending it with someone I love, and I'm doing something important. It's important to both of us. I love you too. Still nervous, huh? I'll fill up the hole tomorrow, and then we'll try next door. And the next house, and the next house. Till we find the book, alright? God damn it. Which part? Everything. Told you that street was a good starting place. I was drawn to it. Third fucking house. Incredible. So am I allowed to talk now? I've been talking anyway. It's not like anybody can hear me. That's not the problem. Hey, get out your phone. Do the phone thing. There, go ahead. So this is where I lived. This was the real thing. That's yeah. my house. Yeah, I guess if the book search comes up cold, we could check like public records or something. And the assholes who moved in dug the book up? I mean, if you left it dirt down like you said, it would be pretty obvious. I'd dig it up. And then get rid of it? I mean, somebody buries something for a reason. You don't just give it away, that's fucked up. There are two public libraries in the area. It could be at either one. How do you do that? Huh? You can interact with physical things sometimes. I don't know, man. I'm just as clueless as you are. I didn't get a pamphlet or anything. No, welcome to Limbo Pamphlet. <laughs> How does the physical world look to you? Everything looks flattened out. <laughs> compressed, no depth. Kind of like a picture. I can't really judge distance. Why? What do I look like? It's hard to explain. I can see you, but... I know there's nothing there. Barely visible. It's too late for this. First public library tomorrow? Yep. And I'm gonna be the one who first opens the book when we find it? Yes. You know why I'm anxious, right? Sort of. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna find. I don't know about my life or my family. I mean, I don't even know how I died. And as long as we don't know my name, I'll never know. We'll never know. My real name means nothing to me. I have no feelings attached to it. But for Mason, I do. Because somebody I care about gave it to me. Just... Do you want to stop looking? No, Liam, that's not what I- Is that it? Do you want to give up? We haven't been at this very long. It's only been a few days. It's important to me, Mason. I want to know more about you. I love you, but I don't feel like I know you. I want to know about your past. I want to know what happened to you. Then just... Don't tell me. You suggested- Fuck this thing. Liam. Sorry. Liam, I suggested it because you seemed interested. That's all. You wanted to look for the book, so I wanted to help you. Sorry, Mace. Oh, I'm sorry.
we even say it's not a dead end. We don't have anything else. We have no other clues. It's a dead end. Cool off. I don't know what we're gonna do, Mace. Okay, look, it still has to be in the city, right? We know she got it from some book sale, so she must have gave it away somewhere. Let's try some bookstores. We're just guessing again. It's useless. What the hell? We'll search every bookstore then. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. It's like the book is avoiding us. Yeah, checking public records might be easier, but... Finding the book just seems more rewarding. Satisfying? It came so close this time. You reread that other copy of it, right? Yeah. Well, what's it about? It's, uh, some philosophical shit. I don't know why I would have read it when I was younger, but I must have been really bored. What kind of philosophical shit? It's comparing paintings to memories to experiences. How the artist sees his work as parts, and everyone else sees it as a whole. Brush strokes. That explains the title. It's like there's one stroke on the canvas. But it's like, I'm not the artist, but I have to fill in the rest. Liam, how come you're the only person that can see or hear me? You're a weak asshole. What? How come nobody else can see or hear me, but you can? I can't answer that. You guys have asked me weird questions at night. Shoot. Sorry, it's just been bugging me. Theories? Fate? I don't know. Fate. Yeah, they're like, destined to be together, always meant to be. Red string of fate. Ghost string. Fuck. Wow. It's the best I've got. You were the first person to talk to me. And I was in that diner for a long time. Anyone ever sit at the booth with you? <laughs> yeah, a few times. <sighs> Liam? Yeah? Is it gonna be weird when you start getting older than me? Damn it, Max. Really? Yeah, probably a little weird. Like we met at the same age. Maybe you'll stop being able to see and hear me someday. What happened to being optimistic? You're always optimistic. I do a lot of thinking when you're asleep, sorry. Can you make me a promise? What? Don't try to change that, you know? Jesus, Mason. I won't do that. I promise. Now, if we're gonna get up early to try the first house, I need to get some rest. Sorry, sorry. I'll leave you alone. Good night, ghost boy. You haven't called me that in a long time. This should be the only name I knew you by. Good night, Liam. I love you. I love you too. Hey, Mason? Yeah? Would you mind if I kept calling you Mason?